The MAC air quality has been a hot topic over the past week with parts of the northeastern U.S. dealing with some of the worst air quality in recorded history. Meteorologist Kendall Wilson is here now to explain what the air quality index means and why it's so important in this week's Weather Wednesday. Over the past week or so, you have probably received a few air quality alerts on your phone. The Air Quality Index, or AQI, was released back in 1979, with the goal of offering people an easy-to-understand daily report about the air that they are breathing. You are getting that air quality watch or warning because the air in your area could be considered unhealthy because of a number of pollutants. The Air Quality Index actually measures a total of five different pollutants that are regulated by the Clean Air Act, some of which do include ground-level ozone, carbon monoxide, Oxide and particle pollution. That can actually include a number of different things such as dust, dirt, or as was the case with the last air quality alert that we saw for our area, smoke. Those pollutants can come from a wide variety of sources. In the case of particle pollutants, they can come directly from a source like wildfires or road dust, but most of them often come from chemical reactions from pollutants that are emitted by power plants or automobiles. Regardless of where these pollutants originate from, they are measured on a daily basis, and we compare those measurements with the air quality index scale. The AQI actually ranges from 0 to 500 and has six different categories corresponding to a different level of health concern. The lower the number, the better the air quality, but the higher the number, the more pollutants in the atmosphere and the greater the health concern. When we find ourselves in this green and yellow category, it generally means that the air quality is good or satisfactory and poses no major health risk. But when we get into this orange category, that means that the air quality is unhealthy for sensitive group. That sensitive group can include people like children, older adults, or anyone with a respiratory disease such as asthma. Individuals in this group should consider reducing their time outdoors. However, when we are in this orange category, the general public is less likely to see any effects, but usually this is when we will start to get some of those air quality alerts. When the AQI is red, that now means that the air is considered unhealthy for everyone. And as we go further down the scale into this purple and maroon category, the air is not only considered extremely unhealthy, healthy, but even hazardous. So in all of these categories, it is highly recommended that you either reduce or avoid any long or intense outdoor activities. As I mentioned before, these reports come out on a daily basis. So if you are interested in those, you can go to airnow.gov or download the AirNow mobile app. I will also mention that normally when we do get these air quality alerts, you'll also see some sort of notification on your Storm Tracker 6 app. Back to you.